Hi guys, Rafael from European Cigars, but today I'm reviewing my Humidor Tour and 2019. So on the first shell I have a Rocky Patel Legend 52, Ray Lewis, best cigars, Toro size. Then I have Rocky Patel 50, I have a two left, I got 10 of them. Then I have a Rocky Patel Royale, one of my best cigars, I love them so much. So then I have a Rocky Patel Fusion, and it's three years of age, last month, one of my last ones. So then I have a Rocky Patel, it's a decade, Toro size and Robusta size. So then we're moving, I have another one, it's a Rocky Patel section, so it's a Rocky Patel Connecticut, Vintage uh, 1999, so yeah. And another one, I have two cigars left. It's a uh, natural, Toro size, Rocky Patel 20th. Then I have a Rocky Patel Toro size 55. And uh, this is my, also one of my best cigars. It's a CAO Anaconda. I have a three left in this uh, pack, in this box, and I have one more left in the bottom of the humidor, I'm gonna show you. So here you go, Amazon, CAO, M, Amazon Anaconda, Toro size. Then second shell, we have a, my father cigar. Here you go. I, all, I have those signs for my friends, you know, because I wanna kind of, a little bit show off tell them look what I have so this is number two cigar of 2018 La Apilencia Toro size if you're gonna pay attention I have lots of lots of uh, Toro size cigars because I like it Toro size one of my favorite then I have a Rocky but uh, sorry my father La Gran Aferta it's 2018 cigar very good start the uh, full body and uh, end it uh, with medium body then we have a Number seven cigar of 2017, it's The Judge. My father, The Judge. Very good cigars, I like those cigars. I gave you a review on that one. So then we have number one cigar of 2015, it's uh, My Father, La Beiju, 1922. It's a Torpedo, very good cigar. Here you go, the, now we have a Flor de Las Antilla by my father, it's a Madura. Here you go, that's the cigar, look at this. I love this, this is one of my best cigars. Then we have a number one cigar of 2012, it's a La Flor, um, La Flor de las Antilles Sun Grown, number one cigar 2012, and I gave you a review on that one just recently. I have somewhere the whole box. Yeah, it's, I have a box, another box. Usually I buy a bunch of boxes and I like to age them. So here you go. I have another box right there. And I'm gonna show you each box has a dates when I buy them. So then, torch shell we have a, it's a Epicarilla number two cigar of 2014. Epicarilla La Historia. Then of course we have a number one cigar of 2018, Epicarilla Encore, here we go, Majestic. I have a couple boxes, so I have, you know, smoke one by one. Then we have a, it's a, now we have Arturo Fienta, and it's a Arturo Fienta Don Carlos, torpedo size. Then we have another one, Arturo Fienta and it's a signature, a reserve, yeah, signature. Then we have number one cigar 2014 and it's a Oliva V Milanium. I have a Robusta size, one of my best, uh, I mean, I like Robusta because it has better flavors than Torpedo, than Figurada. And I have also small sizes, it's like, it's a Petite Corona, right? I even don't know what's the size of this, but I'm telling you, this is so small for Arizona. 
it's very very good you know 25 to 30 minutes I'm done have all those beautiful flavors lots of coffee flavors then here you go shelf number four we have a padron so this is uh, 1926 nine nine yet in tubos then here you go I have no space in the top shell I have a Rocky Patel it's a vintage 2006 San Andres this cigar was produced in what 2017 yes then I have number two cigar it's a Padron a 2000 cigar 2017 Padron 1926 Jose Padron but the only it's a little bit different box because you know I own the five left from my 20 of them that's why I changed then look at this pay attention age of two years so I also I so you see that's the it's a, a padron 1964 imperial so here you go I have a date when I bought it when I purchased so it's a August 2nd 2017 yeah two years Then we have a exclusive one, same thing, age of two years. Look at this, even the color of the, you see? So this one, look how different this color and different that. Those ones dark because they used to be covered. Now I uncover them because time to smoke. Then I have a, this stick, it's a Avo, like everybody knows. Forgot that, and this is three years of age. I don't know if you can pay attention on the cellophane how dark it gets. Yeah, this is three years. I had a couple sticks, and one I just uh, save it for later on. And this is I gave you a review on this one. It's a uh, New World by H Ages Fernand. New World Puro Especial by Ages Fernand. Toro size. You know, one of my also best cigars. Then here you go lower shelf we have uh, it's a uh, drew state sun grown then couple i mean one uh, mile cigar it's a uh, what is this it's a uh, romeo juliet 1875 churchill size from you know one of my friends then i have a camacho bent power band and this cigar it's also almost three years old one left then I have a it's a Pulita Anniversario it's a El Artista company they sent me a year ago three for you know how's called for to taste them and I smoke one one left then we have Rocky Patel 50 15th in tubos this is actually cigar number 20 of 2018. It's a whole box, it's uh, covered. Yeah, this cigar, it's like two years of age now. And now I have a one left from second box. So we're gonna put it there. So then we have a Cahiba. Once in a while, I like those flavors. So I have a Toro size in tubos and I have a Robusta size, small three left. So here you go. That's a Padron 1964 and uh, exclusive for, and I just recently bought it. So look at this. Every time when I buy when I buy cigars boxes, I I put my own stamp. So I bought this May 26, 2019, couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna age them a couple years because you see how many sticks I have. It's it's gonna last me to smoke. Whoa too much time I'm gonna take before I'm gonna get to this one so then I have Macanuda I barely smoke those ones but I, like I told you uh, you see I even keep them in cellophane I barely smoke them but this is for my friends because few of my friends they only smoke cigars and guess what when they shoot, when they come and guess what they can handle anything more than, than mild that's the Macanuda. Then we're gonna go lower. So here you go. I have a three left. It's a Aliva G 
in Torpedo and it's uh, Madura, but look at this. This it's been aged for three years now. Yeah, almost three years. Yeah, and guess what? It's not even as dark anymore. But this is Madura. This now we have a Nikolov cigar, Connecticut. Very good cigar. This it reminds me Monte Cristo white label. I really, really love this stick. You know, I barely smoke uh, Connecticut, but I love this stick. So now we have a Oliva V and it's Torpedo. And look at this. Some, I mean, this cigar, those cigars over two years of age. Like, I don't know if you can paint the cellophane, but look at this. Look how dark they get. I aged them two plus years. It's a mark in the box, but look how much oil we have. So I have what, six left, seven left, beautiful. Then we have a double Robusta. Here you go, it's also aged. I just gave you a review on that one recently, so look how much oil I have. The cigar get, cellophane get very, very dark. And I have those three left. Then we have, I just recently bought uh, Cameroon, Cameroon wrapper, it's a knot. I just recently purchased. You know, my wife, she, she killing me every time when she see receipt on a credit card. Then I have a punch, rare Corojo. Two plus years of age. I gave you a review just recently. Then next one, I, I kind of split the box. It's a Perdoma 10 years anniversary champagne, Connecticut, good one. Then I have a Alec Bradley and it's a Koyao, very, very good cigar. Then last my stick, it's a Alec Bradley Nicopura Rosada. This cigar two of years age, only last. Here you go, now a couple months ago I recently purchased uh, Punch. Rothschild, here you go. It's a 50 in the box. I already smoked six or seven of them. Very short smoke, beautiful. Then we have a Kusana. You know, it's a Nicaraguan. Very, very good one. Right here we have a PDR 1878. Red label, I guess I should say. You know, it's okay cigar, but with age it's get much, much better. You know, it's totally different box. It's, you see, I just put two Picarilla bugs because it take less time. And if you're gonna pay attention in the back, look, I have a bunch of, bunch of, uh, wait a second. It's a Ray Lewis. I have a couple boxes right here, but if you're gonna pay attention, you see we have another. I have a bunch of those Legend 52 Ray Lewis boxes. I aged them, I smoked them, I love this thing. So then we're gonna go to bottom. So here you go. Now we have a Mikalev Torcedoras. Three sticks left. It used to be 24. And this is Exactus. El Artista Company sent me this for review. So I already gave review. Uh, this is Connecticut. I love it so much. I actually have to purchase the box. I don't like Connecticut as much, but this is actually good, has a good spice. Then we have, uh, this is, uh, it's a Mikalov cigar, and it's a Riata, Churchill size, beautiful. Then here you go. This we have Mikalov, and it's a uh, uh, Experiencia. I have so many of them, I even forgot the name. So this stick, this stick, it says separate, why? This stick, it's two years of age, because what, when I purchased my first box two years ago, I love this cigar so much. So guess what? Only one left. I'm gonna age probably for, to, for a few more years. Right there. Then we have a Alec Bradley, and it's a Prensada Lost Art. One Robusta left, and a few of uh, five more Toro size. Like I mentioned before, I love, I love, Toro size. Then we have a Prinsada, Alec Bradley Prinsada Toro size. Then we have a Prinsada, this is actually, yeah, by the way, I forgot to put the name. 
I mean, it's a 2000 number one cigar of 2011. Then we have a brick house. I mean, not, sorry, not brick house. Black market by um, by Alec Bradley. So here you go. This is cigar two years of age. I only have three left, and somewhere, somewhere, I don't remember where. I have also. Yeah, I'm gonna show you right now. So here you go. I when I purchase that one, I also purchase usually ten in the ten in the box. They come for like a gift pack for Christmas. So here you go. I also bought. Here you go. This is black market Estali, age of two years, and I bought it uh, hol for holiday, right? It's going to be two years actually in uh, October because I went to my local local store and there's oh here you go they they sold those cigars so I decided to buy a couple boxes I smoke one and now I age another one so like I told you you see over there I have a bunch of bunch of different ones oops so yeah that's my lower so here you go right here few of my friends. They keep their own cigars, so I'm not gonna show you what, but it's theirs. So, like, a, also one of my friend, he don't have a humidor. He decided to put like a, you know, small paper towel, wet one, and he said, oh, you know what? If you don't smoke as often, I said, if you wanna, you can come and you can bring me, keep it in my humidor, no charge, free of charge. So yeah, he has a couple uh, Oliva Gira pasta and one it's a Connecticut. And uh, now that's his cigars. Then I have a big party. If you remember, my wife she bought me the whole case of uh, for the last year for my birthday. So then we have a number one cigar for me personally. It's a Mikalov cigar, Lienda, Lienda number one. Look at this. I have last one. Then I bought. It was a good deal for those Royal. Rocky Patel Royal Toro size, I really really like them. Then I have Cimarron by El Artista Company. Love those cigars. So over there I have also a bunch of where is it? Again? Yeah I have it's hard to see I have lots of lots of lots of small sticks. So yeah, then big mistake by me, I'm unfortunately I bought the whole box of El Artista Company, but looks like, you know, they're also not happy with this cigar. Pura Ember by Exactus. This is like, I gave you a review recently on that one, and I'm telling you, it's not, uh, it's a good cigar, it's so, so flavors, but the problem is, it's not burning well. You have to retouch probably eight, seven times. Then we have a Kusana, and it's a, it's a Robusta size. Then, yeah, this is lots of, so here you go, we're gonna put it there, so here you go, I have a few, like, cigars right here, Prinsada, the whole box, extra box, and then, this is, it's just a small kind of storage, I have those cigars, what I wanna actually age them, it's a, what is this? It's a 48 by 7 Madura Ashton H. Yeah, 48 by 7 Madura Ashton H Madura number 50. I gave you a review like a year ago on this cigar and I really don't like them, so that's why I decided to age them. This is also, it's a Partugas. You know, it's been already aged for like a year. I bought a few of them and I didn't like them as much, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna actually age them. So then I have a simpler pack I got when I bought the whole box of Oliva cigars so I recently I gave you a review on those ones then here you go I also purchased like a it was on sale Rocky Patel Decade so right here and look what I have so this is my humidifier one second but Look what I have right here. This is my 
my father I'm gonna show you one second so my father and also I have a couple so here you go look at this this is my father look how dark cellophane get my father La Beiju 1922 number one cigar 2015 this is it's a three years of age look at this only left last left from that package and also this is Sindicata one of my best cigars this cigar it's gonna be actually in uh, July end of July it's gonna be it's gonna be three years look at this how dark it gets I only have a two left so yeah that's my most recent I mean not most uh, oldest uh, cigars three years so here you go so that's pretty much it that's my humidor look at this how big it gets love them so much like I said the only my wife she's not happy when I spend money I'm like a, you know some people collect cars some people collect motorcycle I love cigars that's my you know weak spot as soon as I see something here you go I buy them so thank you for watching and see you guys later